Pope Gregory XVI, born Bartolomeo Alberto Capillari E.C., reigned from 2 February 1831 to his death in 1846. He had adopted the name Moro upon entering the religious order of the Camaldolese. Strongly conservative and traditionalist, he opposed democratic and modernizing reforms in the Papal States and throughout Europe, seeing them as fronts for revolutionary leftism. Against these trends he sought to strengthen the religious and political authority of the papacy. He encouraged missionary activity abroad to increase the Church's international influence, but his harsh repression, financial extravagance and neglectfulness left him deeply unpopular domestically. He remains the last pope to take the pontifical name, Gregory, and the last non-bishop to become pope. Biography Early life Bartolomeo Alberto Capillari was born at Belluno in the Republic of Venice, on 18 September 1765, to an Italian lower noble family. His parents were from a small village named Pesariza, in Friuli. His father was a lawyer. At the age of 18 Bartolomeo Capillari joined the Order of the Camaldolese and entered the Monastery of San Michel in Mirano, near Venice. He was ordained priest in 1787. As a Camaldolese monk, Capillari rapidly gained distinction for his theological and linguistic skills, was assigned to teach philosophy and theology at San Michel. In 1790 he was appointed censor librorum for his order, as well as for the Holy Office at Venice. He went to Rome in 1795 and in 1799 published a polemic against the Italian Jansenists titled Tu Trion for della Santa Seda, which passed through various editions in Italy and was translated into several European languages. In 1800 he became a member of the Academy of the Catholic Religion, founded by Pope Pius VII to which he contributed memoirs on theological and philosophical questions. In 1805 he was made abbot of the monastery of San Gregorio on Rome's Callian Hill, when the French Emperor Napoleon took Rome and expelled Pope Pius VII in 1809, Capillari fled to Murano. From there he and a group of monks moved to Padua in 1814, after Napoleon's final defeat. The Congress of Vienna re-established the sovereignty of the Papal States over central Italy and Capillari was called back to Rome to assume the post of Camaldoli's vicar general. He was then appointed as councillor to the Inquisition and later promoted to prefect of the Congregation of Propaganda Fide, which dealt with all missionary work outside of the Spanish Empire, including to the non-Catholic states in Europe. Twice he was offered a bishopric and twice he refused. Cardinal on 21 March 1825, Capillari was created cardinal by Pope Leo XII, and shortly afterwards he was asked to negotiate a concordat to safeguard the rights of Catholics in the Low Countries, a diplomatic task which he completed successfully. He also negotiated a peace on behalf of Armenian Catholics with the Ottoman Empire. He publicly condemned the Polish revolutionaries, who he thought were seeking to undermine Russian Tsar Nicholas I's efforts to support the Catholic royalist cause in France by forcing him to divert his troops to suppress the uprising in Poland. Gregory had never travelled outside Italy and was most familiar with Venice and Rome. He spoke Italian and Latin fluently, but no other European languages, and did not understand European politics. Pontificate Papal election on 2 February 1831 After a 50 de conclave, Capillari was unexpectedly chosen to succeed Pope Pius VIII. His election was influenced by the fact that the cardinal considered the most papabile, Giacomo Giustiniani was vetoed by King Ferdinand VII of Spain. There then arose a deadlock between the other two major candidates, Emmanuel de Gregorio and Bartolomeo Paca. What finally drove them to make a decision was a message from the Duke of Parma notifying them that revolt was about to break out in the northern papal states. To resolve the impasse, the cardinals turned to Capillari, but it took as many as 83 ballots for a sufficient majority to be reached. 
At the time of election, Cardinal Capillari was not yet a bishop. He is the last man so far to be elected Pope prior to his episcopal consecration. He was consecrated as bishop by Bartolomeo Paca, Cardinal Bishop of Ostia and Bellatri and Dean of the Sacred College of Cardinals, with Pier Francesco Gay Lafi, Cardinal Bishop of Porto e Santa Rufina and Subdean of the Sacred College of Cardinals, and Tommaso Arizo, Cardinal Bishop of Sabina, acting as co-consecrators. The choice of Gregory XVI as his regnal name was influenced by the fact that he had been abbot of San Gregorio Monastery on the Coelian Hill for more than 20 years, and in honor of Gregory XV, the founder of Propaganda. This was the same abbey from which Pope Gregory I had dispatched missionaries to England in 596. Actions The Revolution of 1830, which overthrew the House of Bourbon, had just inflicted a severe blow on the Catholic Royalist Party in France. Almost the first act of the new French government was to seize Ancona, thus throwing Italy, and particularly the Papal States into a state of confusion and political upheaval. In the course of the struggle that ensued, it was more than once necessary to call in Austrian troops to fight the red-shirted Republicans engaged in a guerrilla campaign. The conservative administration of the Papal States postponed their promised reforms after a series of bombings and assassination attempts. The replacement of Tommaso Bonetti by Luigi Lambruscini as Cardinal Secretary of State in 1836 did nothing to appease the situation. In the Northern Territories the leaders of the revolt were middle-class gentry opposed to the general inefficiency of the government. Governance of the Papal States Gregory XVI and Cardinal Lambruscini opposed basic technological innovations such as gaslighting and railways believing that they would promote commerce and increase the power of the bourgeoisie, leading to demands for liberal reforms which would undermine the monarchical power of the Pope over central Italy. Gregory XVI in fact banned railways in the Papal States, calling them Kemen's Denfer. The insurrections at Viterbo in 1836, in various parts of the legations in 1840, at Ravenna in 1843 and Rimini in 1845, were followed by wholesale executions and draconian sentences of hard labor and exile. But they did not bring the unrest within the Papal States under the control of the authorities. Gregory XVI made great expenditures for defensive, architectural and engineering works. Having a monument to Pope Leo XII built by Giuseppe Fabrese in 1837, he also lavished patronage on such scholars as Angelo Mai, Giuseppe Mezzo Fanti, and Gattano Moroni. This large S, however, significantly weakened the finances of the Papal States. Condemnation of the slave trade in 1839, Gregory XVI issued an apostolic letter against the Atlantic slave trade in Supremo Apostolatus, in which he wrote, W. E. have judged that it belonged to our pastoral solicitude to exert ourselves to turn away the faithful from the inhuman slave trade in Negroes and all other men. D. desiring to remove such a shame from all the Christian nations. Having fully reflected over the whole question and having taken the advice of many of our venerable brothers the cardinals of the Holy Roman Church, and walking in the footsteps of our predecessors, we warn and adjure earnestly in the Lord faithful Christians of every condition that no one in the future dare to vex anyone, despoil him of his possessions, reduce to servitude, or lend aid in favor to those who give themselves up to these practices or exercise that inhuman traffic by which the blacks, as if they were not men but rather animals, having been brought into servitude, in no matter what way, are, without any distinction, in contempt of the rights of justice and humanity, bought, sold, in devoted sometimes to the hardest labor. We reprove, then, by virtue of our apostolic authority, all the practices above mentioned as absolutely unworthy of the Christian name. By the same authority we prohibit and strictly forbid any ecclesiastic or lay person from presuming to defend as permissible this traffic in blacks, under no matter what pretext or excuse. 
or from publishing or teaching in any manner whatsoever, in public or privately, opinions contrary to what we have set forth in this apostolic letter. Other activities other important encyclicals were Solicitudo Ecclesiarum, which stated that in the event of a change of government, the Church would negotiate with the new government for placement of bishops and vacant dioceses, Mirari Vos on liberalism and religious indifferentism, quo gravura, on the pragmatic constitution in the Rhineland, singular nose, on the ideas of Hugues Felicite Robert de Lemenes, and Commissum Divinitis on church and state. Gregory XVI canonized Veronica Giuliani, an Italian mystic. During his reign, five saints were canonized, 33 servants of God declared blessed, many new orders were founded or supported, the devotion of the faithful to Mary, the mother of Jesus, increased, in private as in public life, death and burial on 20 May 1846, he felt himself failing in health, a few days later, he was taken ill with facial erysipelas. At first the attack was not thought to be very serious, but on 31 May, his strength suddenly failed, and it was seen that the end was near. Gregory XVI died on 1 June 1846. After his funeral, he was buried in St. Peter's Basilica.